This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar exploring the new features in Apple Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.4. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use LUTs. A LUT stands for lookup table. Now, here's the way to think of a lookup table. When an image is stored to the computer, we don't actually store the picture. We take a pixel and we give a numeric value to each color in the pixel. A numeric value for red, a numeric value for green, a numeric value for blue. Okay, so there's a number that's associated with each pixel that's in our, our picture. We don't store the picture, we store pixels and numbers. What a lookup table does is it explains what color is associated with each number. So let's say that we have a pixel that has a number one. In the lookup table that's supplied, the lookup table says the number one is blue. So everywhere the number one appears, it automatically displays a blue pixel. Number two displays a red pixel, and number three displays a green pixel. Well, this lookup table in the past has been automatically assigned. It's always been there, but we've never had any control over it. Now we have control over the lookup table. Well, the process is the same. The computer says, here's the number one. What color does that represent? It says the number one represents blue, and it displays blue to the screen. The lookup table translates the numbers stored on the hard disk to the colors displayed on a monitor. Well, if I change the lookup table so that when the computer says, what's the number one mean? Instead of saying blue, our new lookup table says the number one means green. So every blue pixel is now green. Well, this lookup table has always been there, and the translation is instantaneous. So there's no rendering. I'm not creating new video. I'm simply saying the number one used to mean blue, but now it means green. And I can then change the grayscale value or the amount of blue or the amount of red or green in each individual pixel because I'm able to manually change the lookup table. So how do we do that? But how do we know what we have to work with? Well, let's hide our scopes. Let's go back to the, the browser and convert it to list view. One of the neat features that's hidden by default is this one, codex. If I click, I can now display the codex associated with that, with that uh, clip. And if I want to change the place, I can simply grab the header and drag it. Here I've got a red code file, that's a, a raw file. Here I've got a red code file. Here I've got a red file. And there, it's baked into Apple ProRes 4 to 2. I can't do much with it. I can make it a little bit lighter, a little bit darker, the standard color grading tools that you and I have worked with for years. But the greatest flexibility is raw red code log C. Let me illustrate. Here's our clip. Let's hide the browser, give ourselves some room to work, open up the inspector. I want to change a lot. I want to change a lot. My lots are missing. Oh, my life is over. Wrong. Go to where it says general. And go all the way down to the bottom and edit the metadata view. There are hundreds and hundreds hundreds of metadata fields associated with each clip broken into these categories. In my case, just to make this simple, I'm going to change this to video properties, just so I don't have to scroll very far, and notice this option called camera lot. It's off by default. Check it. It's now on. And click OK. That's all it takes to be able to give us LUT control, lookup table control, over our clip. If I scroll down to the bottom, there's our codec, and there's our LUT, and there's no LUT assigned. With many high-end cameras, the camera manufacturer creates the LUT that translates between the values the sensor records inside the camera and the values that we want to see on the display. And Final Cut bundles a number of these in the application for Arri cameras and Blackmagic cameras and Canon cameras and Panasonic and Sony. And you pick the the setting that best represents the format that's being shot by your camera. If you do a Google search for lookup tables, or better yet, cube, C-U-B-E, lookup tables, you're going to find that there are hundreds of them. Final Cut supports both the cube and the MGA format. 
Cube is the same format that DaVinci Resolve supports, and people have been making lookup tables for DaVinci Resolve for years. These same lookup tables now work inside Final Cut. Well, I went online and I purchased four lookup tables specifically designed for the red weapon camera because lookup tables are pretty much camera specific. And this has given us a side light warm, backlight warm, cool, neutral, and notice they're all in the cube format. So I, I purchased these, I downloaded them to my system, and now I want to implement them. Go to camera LUT. We add a custom camera LUT. When I do, navigate to where that cube format is stored, select all of them, click open, and they then appear right here as part of our custom camera LUTs. To apply a LUT is as easy as saying, let's go with side lit warm. Whoa. Or backlit warm. Side lit cool, which is my favorite, I think. Side lit neutral. Final Cut does not allow us to create a LUT. Final Cut allows us to apply a LUT, to remove a LUT, to share LUTs, but not to create it. To create a LUT, you need a piece of software like 3D LUT Creator, which allows you to create LUTs. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar exploring the new features in Apple Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.4. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 241. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.